So Yamaha surprised the industry and came out with a, well, brought back the Mountain Max. Um, we haven't had a Mountain Max for, I don't know, a long time. Well, we haven't, we haven't had two-stroke Yamaha snowmobiles since, um, what, 2000 something, 2007 uh, was the last Viper. So Yamaha coming back out with the two-stroke Mountain Max in 2021. I think is awesome. I mean, yes, it's a, it's an alpha. It's a, it's a, it's a partner. It's, a, it's an extension of the partnership between Yamaha and Articat. Um, before, you know, back in the four-stroke, you know, you go back a few years with the Sidewinder. So they were sharing a lot of technology. They were sharing the platform, the chassis. They were sharing some track and suspension things. Um, they weren't doing the same clutches. They weren't doing the same. Uh, engine and powertrain configurations. They weren't doing the same turbo, but the 2021 Yamaha Mountain Max is is really kind of just a blue Alpha One, with a few exceptions. Uh, the The Mountain Max, the 21 Mountain Max, has has a few main differences between an Arctic Cat Alpha One. Uh, those being, it's blue, uh, different skis, different snow flap. And according to Yamaha, there's ECU mapping, a little different calibration in the ECU, so a little bit different fuel mapping than what our cats put in the Alpha One. And uh, where the Mountain Max is gonna be a spring-only model, I mean, so is the Alpha One. Uh, the Mountain Max, from what they told us now, and, and this, is, this is early March, this is late February, the data we've gotten from them at this time, is that all of those snow check mountain maxes will only have electric start option. So you'll have a pull start with it, but they all come with electric starts. Kind of supposed to be a premium feature to make, make the mountain max like have all the cool features. Now, uh, in one regard, yeah, and that's cool. It's got electric start, but uh, that's, that's heavy. Like, um, I don't know what that electric start weighs, but we've pulled uh, electric start complete systems, ring gears, batteries, wires, everything off of other sleds and it's about 25 pounds depending on what model so it's heavy um, that's the only downside now what's cool about the yamaha that we tested late february was that the thing ran phenomenally so if if they truly do have their own uh, uh, ecu calibration which it feels like the thing feels very different than an arctic cat it runs awesome like it's got a very crisp throttle response down low, very clean transition from low to mid, very strong power and, and just always it's it's always snapping, it's always right there off throttle. So whatever they're doing there, they're doing they're doing a very good job at. The other thing you're gonna feel different between an Alpha One and the Mountain Max are the skis. Uh, the Mountain Max ski is a little bit different than Arctic Cat ski. Um, it's about the same width though, so I think they both for that chassis lack flotation. Uh, that ski can be a little bit wider to keep keep the nose from interacting with the snow as much. Um, but but that's a balance of you know when you side hill, they want the ski to go into the snow um, versus you having to lift the the weight of the sled out of the snow. But the Mount Max runs Fox QS3 shocks. Uh, it does have the the mono rail mono beam Alpha One rear suspension. It's got the same track. The running boards are the same. The controls are the same. We rode the Mountain Max and we, we had, I mean, typically you always test these, these sleds in weird spring snow. So we had it in a, kind of a hard firm snow, some crust. We had it in some, some, I don't know, about a foot and a half to two feet of deep, nice powder down in the trees. We were in creeks, we were uh, in nice ravines. We had great side healing opportunities. We had good climbing places. Um, the thing just runs really good and because it runs so good and, and you've got that Alpha One rear suspension and that, that track, I mean this thing just, uh, similar characteristics to the Alpha One, so much traction. This thing hooks up so incredibly well. And then the 800 SeaTech, that motor, everybody, the first thing everybody says, uh, asks us about Arctic Cat is when are they coming out with an 850? And it's like, well, it's going to be a while if you're waiting for an 850. But if you're, if you're, uh, if you just narrow it down to power output and efficiency, the the 800 C Tech 
is not very far off of an 850. Like it runs really well. It feels really strong. And uh, the one thing that bridges the gap between the 850s and the SeaTac 800 is the Alpha Skid and the, the Alpha Track. I mean, th there's so much traction there and that, that track and that rear suspension does such a good job at, at hooking up to the ground and propelling the sled forward that in some conditions that, that Alpha Mountain Max uh, monorail system with that track is beating 850s in some climbs in some conditions. So it's not really a big gap. Uh, I wouldn't get so fixated on 800 versus 850. Handling wise, uh, you know, the, the Mountain Max, God, it, it's awesome. It's when you're in the right snow, it's phenomenal. When you're in a, kind of a broad range of conditions, you know, there's places where that alpha track will flex and the, the rear of the sled will kind of move around a lot more than it would on a, on a twin rail rear suspension. The overall traction and, and hookup that, that that setup has with snow is, is very impressive. I really like the controls on the Mountain Max. It does have the haze brake, so that's, that's similar across both models. It is, it, for the most part, yeah, it's an Alpha, but it's, it's a Yamaha. It, it looks different, so there's, you know, if you're looking at reasons like why, why would you, why are people going to jump on this Yamaha Mountain Max over an Alpha 1, well, it looks completely different. Like, it's the traditional Yamaha Blue, which kind of has a, you know, we have a soft spot for that. That's really cool to see that. So you've got a totally different look. Uh, you do have different skis. The performance is slightly different there on the skis. So I, th I think a lot of people will go for the Yamaha, and I think there's been a lot of Yamaha holdouts that have gone to uh, Skidoo, Polaris, or Arctic Cat, that once they see this Mountain Max, they're gonna be like, okay, I'm ready, I'll go back to Yamaha. It's interesting, the, the, the 2021 Yamaha Mountain Max uses the same clutches as Arctic Cat, so we don't have the, the Yamaha primary and secondary clutch anymore. It, it's a very smooth, transition the back shift is is very responsive it'll be interesting to see where yamaha goes from here if they expand this if they uh, in the coming years if they do more to differentiate themselves between arctic cat uh, but it's great to have yamaha back with a two-stroke mountain sled mm -hmm.